Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This will be a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Potentially having a look to see uh, what sort of cards come up around the person who might be thinking about you or who is interested in you around this period. Now please remember it is a general reading. Um, I hope it's enjoyable. If you do enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe um, or even a share. That would be very much appreciated, Capricorn. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what comes up in the cards for you here. So uh, this will be a five card spread. Capricorn, who's got their eye on you? Okay, the Six of Wands, this could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. The Six of Wands could be someone quite successful, uh, someone with quite an outgoing um, personality, oftentimes in a role of leadership or influence. So they may be very well respected or revered in their career field. They might be someone of fame um, in the world, in the community, maybe even on social media. They could have a large following. Um, but there's an element of prominence here and something about status, okay? Uh, they could have um, a lot of success, uh, money success, career success, a lot of ambition um, uh, or, or, or things that have come to them, a lot of triumphs that have come to them. But they could definitely be someone under a fire sign here, someone quite active, uh, deeply ambitious, okay? They're a go-getter. They have a high energy about them, quite an active energy too. Uh, so that's the uh, uh, the kind of things that are coming up with. But look, it could be someone that you know through work as well, okay, through career. Um, it could be through sites like LinkedIn. It could be that you work together. Um, it could be that they're uh, attached to your company or the business or the company you work for even um, as well. So that might be how the two of you know each other. Okay, the page of chalices, which is the page of cups here. So water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, some beautiful imagery in this card. You can see the page almost unleashing what what looks like all um what looks like a tray here full of water, and the water is just ebbing and flowing, which is qu really quite beautiful. Uh, but look, it, it can be someone under a water sign or someone um, who has water sign traits. Could be highly creative, could be intuitive, could be quite caring and compassionate. The page can symbolize someone younger or uh, less experienced than you. So possibly even a little bit of inexperience coming up around this person. Uh, but they're unleashing something here. So I feel like um, this person may just express their emotions. There very well could be someone coming forward who's going to confess that they either have feelings for you, Capricorn, or show their feelings somehow. You see how he's unleashing what's coming out of the water. So I feel like this is the page's way of expressing how they truly feel about you. So get ready. There is a confession coming in, potentially for some of you, um, or an expression of love. Someone might do something very special and it will completely surprise you or may completely surprise you, uh, Capricorn. So... I guess that's something to um, something to keep an eye out on. But the page of chalices can represent Pisces uh, most prominently, not particularly in this deck, um, but it is known to represent Pisces. So it can be someone with Piscean traits, a bit of duality, lots of creativity, um, a big heart, okay, a very, very big heart. Um, or it could indicate that it is someone you already care about. So it could be someone you've sort of put in the friend zone even. Uh, Capricorn. Okay, the Hierophant. So this can be someone under the sign of a Taurus or someone that has Taurus traits. Uh, the Hierophant again is about status. Uh, it's someone well known. So I think for a lot of you, this person has been in your view somehow. Um, either you see them on a day to day basis, maybe on the commute to work, maybe through the community, maybe at church, maybe through certain uh, community groups, classes, volunteering or charity groups as well. Um, and it could definitely be religion or spirituality that you know this person from. Uh, they could be married or they could be taken, however. So that doesn't mean that this person isn't thinking about you or potentially wanting to express their feelings. They could have someone around them, either an ex or a partner. They could definitely have marriage around them or they are wanting marriage. Um, so it would seem that as though this person is a traditionalist, 
Um, they adhere to customs, values, and beliefs. Uh, there's something here about them. Um, because the Hierophant is, is steeped in tradition, uh, they could be quite a traditionalist. Um, the Hierophant is known for his expertise, though, in, in matters of religion and, and faith. So this person could have some sort of expertise skill. Uh, maybe they've done a degree or they're, they're in education or um, they have a specialty, a trade of some kind, but it's something quite specific. Um, or the, they've always stuck to a certain industry or trade, for example. Uh, that could also be the case with the Hierophant here. Um, but it can be Taurian traits, which would be someone quite cultured, maybe the strong and steady type. Uh, maybe someone that likes fine music, fine food, anything that sort of pleases the senses. Okay, that could be coming up around this person. Okay, the devil. This is Capricorn energy here with the devil. Um, the devil isn't pictured in this deck, though. It is what seems just a dark forest here um, that's quite uh, puzzling um, and, and even confusing here. Um, but the devil can be a pathway of some kind. Now, A, this could be like this is a destined connection because it's coming up. The, the, the sign of Capricorn has come up in the reading here. It could be someone who is very similar to you in a lot of ways and does, in fact, share a lot of Capricorn traits. Um, so you, there is potentially someone you're quite compatible with. It can be someone that has um, a strong sexual link to you, maybe someone that's prone to addiction, um, maybe someone that has played mind games with you before. The reason I say that is because this, this somewhat confusing forest has so many pathways and it can play on the mind, you play on the eyes. So it could definitely be um, someone who has led you astray, someone who has confused you or someone who's um, taken different paths with you. So you might have known this person as a friend, as a lover, as an ex. I feel like there's different pathways that have linked you to this person somehow, Capricorn, if that makes any sense at all. But a bit of mysticism here with the devil card. Um, again, it can be someone very like-minded to you. It's not always bad, but it can also be someone who's played mind games with you, who's tempted you for things. The devil tempts, the devil is cunning, the de devil is an adversary. So for some of you, this could even be someone when you first met, you didn't necessarily get along with them. The two of you could have been quite opposite and you saw them as your adversary. Um, maybe they worked at a competing company. Maybe the two of you just really didn't like each other. And then later on, you discovered that there is some sort of connection. So that could absolutely be the case here. But the fact that Capricorn energy has come up for your reading, Cappy, I definitely uh, I definitely think it speaks some volumes of the type of connection this is. Um, and that it could in fact be um, a fated connection here. Um, it could also be someone who is taken but thinking about you in a, in a more intimate way, okay? Could even be affairs and things. Okay, five of ones. More fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. The five of ones um, does indicate competition or lack of dysfunction or um, argumentative or conflicting energy so for some of you um, you might have been involved in a fight or a falling out with this person or there's been a lot of tense energy between the both of you lately and it could be that they're thinking about you despite the burden that the devil can bring so if you have had a breakup if you have had a major argument if there's been a falling out of some kind um, it could be a, a, an indication here that this person is in fact missing you is is thinking about you um, there could also be a lot of confusion here Sometimes the five can be seen as inner turmoil, okay? Uh, those inner confusing thoughts and feelings and opinions that might be coming up around this person. So if they've shown a lot of, um, I guess, mixed messages even, it could be this person that has showed a lot of mixed messages uh, and they are in fact, uh, they are in fact, um, still confused maybe somewhat but still giving you a lot of thought okay um it could also be someone who has someone else in their life but it, it's almost like you're competing over the attention with this other person so say for example they might have recently connected with someone new they might have had an ex coming back into the picture but it's not like their whole entire focus is on that other person no in fact i feel like that other person even could feel like there's a bit of competition because this person is clearly uh, thinking about you here, Cappy. So it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds. Um, but I hope that gives you a, a little bit of an insight into this person. Thank you again for watching. I do hope it's been helpful and we shall be connecting very, very soon. So thanks again, Cappy, and bye for now.